Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.net and today we're going to be jumping back into our little code along here for the item system. And I wanted to address a problem, at least right off the top here, with our database. If we go ahead and we take a look at the, the way it works right now, is if we go in, uh, we select any item that we previously made, and I do want to open the database so we can look at it at the side here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the club here. And if we look at the club, it is saved as uncommon. And if we go ahead and we switch it to rare, save it, and load it back up, it's not loading properly. At least it doesn't appear to be loading properly. Because it says common next. And it is updating over here. And the problem is the way that we have it set up in our object class. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that. Let's go ahead and cancel here. We'll jump into the script. And right here, our IS object, this is where we have quality defined. And if we come down, what we're doing is we're going ahead and we're creating this variable, quality select index, which is just an int. If we go to where it's declared, right up here, and we define it as zero. But zero is the first element, which is always going to be common. And that's why it always shows that way. But on the very next line here is where we're going ahead and we're saying, take the quality, that we are assigning to this object that we have and set it to whatever we have as selected. Since common is always selected, at least when it first loads, uh, what we're doing is we're actually saving it off as quality for when we're displaying that temp weapon. So we actually have to change the way this works a bit. So what I'm going to do is comment out this line just for now. We're going to recomment in a bit. And I want to go ahead and add a debug log here. And what I want to debug log out is the quality name. And we'll go ahead and we'll actually just show what the, the quality name is. So we're going to say quality dot name. We'll go ahead. We'll save that off. I'm going to go ahead and jump right back in. We'll fire the editor back up and we've got some errors. Let's see. Let's take care of these errors first. Uh, I think it's because when we hit create, well, let's take a look here. We'll say if. Quality does not equal, well, let's say if it does equal null, we'll just return. We'll just get out of there. No point in going on any further, so we'll go ahead. I might need it just to let it update. I think I just went in too quick. But let's start it back up. I'm going to go ahead and click club. And we see it just says common, 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 common. Oh, we actually do have it set as common. So let's go ahead and change this to, uh, we've got it set where it doesn't load. So I'm actually going to physically change it over here. And I'm just going to call it rare. And we'll go ahead and fire it back up. And now we're getting rare. And if we go ahead, clear that off, just so it's a little easier to see. So it is loading up rare, but it's not displaying as rare. So we need it to select this by default. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump back into our code. And I think I might... I've just needed to let it update the script fast. I'm going to go ahead and comment those out because I don't think we need it. And this debug statement. So we need a way to get the index of the quality that we have selected. And the way I want to do that is just to pass in, oh, well, let's actually just go ahead and create another method in our database called get index. And that way that we can just pass in the name of whatever it is we have and get it back. So scriptable object database. I don't really want to put it in here. Not every database is going to need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the quality database. If it turns out that it is something I want in all the rest, then I'll work it into the other database. So we'll go ahead, we'll create a public. It's going to return an int because it's the index. And I'm just going to say get index. Now, what do we want to pass in? There's a few ways we could do it. I think the easiest way would be just to pass in a string. And I'm just going to call the string name because it's going to be the name of the quality that we want to pull out. And I'm always going to do that now, aren't I? And I'm going to go ahead and create an int. And I'm going to call it, uh, I don't know, item index. And this is going to be equal to our database, which uh, looks like it's private. So we have to go ahead and go into the database that we've got assigned here and pull that out. So we're going to jump into the scriptable object database. And right here, 
we have this, if, if there's no access modifier here as in private, protected, or public, it's always private by default. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it protected. And what this basically does is it keeps it private here, but it also allows any class that directly inherits from it to be able to access it and work with it as if it's private for them. And now that should give us access over here. There we go, we can now access database. And the method I want, I want something to do with indexes. So we have index of, uh, which actually takes an IS quality item. That's not quite what I want because the item I'm gonna be taking will not be the same. Uh, well, if I knew the index, I wouldn't need to pass it in. Let's look at find index. Find index will work, it just takes a predicate. So we're gonna use find index. And we've set up predicates before. So basically we're gonna create a new variable. We're just gonna call it A. And this A will be of type IS. Well, so actually it's gonna be of quality, IS quality. And what we wanna say is take a look and find A with a name that equals the name that we're being passed in as a string. And that's gonna save it off here. And we don't even really need to do that. We can just do return, to be honest. And that should be it. So we get the index, we just gotta pass in a string. We come back over here. And I'm gonna change this to get index. And now we should be able to access the database, which was QD or QBD, sorry, QDB dot get index and we got to pass in the name so we're going to pass in the quality dot name and that'll return the index and print it out for us so let's go ahead we'll try this out we'll jump in let's see what errors we get all right now so we'll jump in go ahead start it up i'm looking at club which is rare so when I open it up, I'm getting rare. rare. Uh, am I getting it where Unity's not gonna update for me? I'll go ahead and we'll just quit and restart it back up for me. I know some people have had this before with other versions, but I've never actually had this problem with other, other versions. So quality index two, which if we go ahead and look at the quality index here, and remember it starts off at zero. So zero, one, two. So we are actually getting the right one. So we just gotta figure out a way to assign it, which really isn't that hard. If we come in and take this, I'm actually just gonna cut it out and replace it here. And apparently I did that wrong. <laughs> let's, let's copy and paste the whole thing. I'll cut it out up. And we'll paste it in there. Uh, save it now to be honest I don't really like it this way because what we're doing is every time this displays we're going into the database getting the index and pulling it back out I would love just to actually have this load up at the start uh, assign this value to it and then just have that one line in here same thing here is every time this is displayed every time it's updated it's reassigned it's, it's going ahead looking up and reassigning now to be quite honestly this isn't an editor you're not even gonna notice the performance hit. And I bet if I didn't even point it out, like you would never even notice it. But it is something I do wanna move later on. But first wave through, I just like to get things working. So let's go ahead, we'll save this off. We're gonna go ahead, jump in. Clear that out, let's start it back up. We're gonna hit club and it starts off as rare. So we now have it. So let's go ahead, we'll make it uncommon. We'll go ahead, we'll save it. We notice it did update, up date to common and we click and now load so let's take a look to see what happens when we create a new one uh-oh we got some errors so let's go ahead and create a variable here so i'm going to say int item index is equal to and we'll grab this and of course we'll just paste this in here item index and that'll work, but we gotta make sure that we take into account when something doesn't have a quality automatic auto, uh, already assigned. So we're gonna say if, well, we can use this if block up here. Now let me take a look here to see why, how quality is. Is it automatically made? It is. Uh, so we create one here. We don't have a basic constructor for it. Uh, let me see. 
It doesn't look like it. So if we don't have a constructor for it, we can just check to see if it's null. Uh, and we'll have to fix this. So we'll go ahead and we'll start it off as being zero by default and we'll say if it's not null, then it's gonna be equal to whatever the database says that it's equal to. And maybe there's a better way to do this. If it is if it is null, I believe it's returning negative one. Let's actually check that out. Then all I'm gonna do is make this call on one that's null. Because it might just be easier because we can just take a look if it's negative one being returned. And of course, I'll have to close this. It is negative one being returned. Great. This actually makes it so much easier. I'm going to go ahead, leave it the way we originally had it, and then just check. So if it's equal to negative one, then just make it equal to zero. All right, just a quick check here. One too many spaces just annoys me. So we're going to go ahead, we'll assign it to whatever our database returns. Then we do want to have a quick check here just to see if it's negative one, which means that it doesn't have a quality already assigned. And if it is, we're going to assign it zero, which will end up just being a common. Come back in. We'll go ahead, we'll clear everything out. And we'll start it back up. We'll go ahead, hit club. It's uncommon, it's uncommon. Let's switch it up to rare. We'll save, it updates, so everything's fine there. If we go ahead and load it up. So that's saving, okay. What if we create a new one? Ah, still hitting an error here. Let's go, we'll check this out. So it looks like if it's null, I can't even send the name because I won't be able to access it. Ah, let's see what happens when you try to get things done too quick. Uh, so we'll say if quality is equal to null, we'll go back with the original. Item index. We'll see if it's not equal to null. Then we'll go get it. So qdb dot get index quality dot name. And that will return something. And I'm still going to leave this here. I want to check just to make sure that it does return. Well, that it, it's not a negative one that it returns. And if it is, then set it to zero, so it'll be common. And what's wrong down here? And it's actually index. Looks like I spelt it wrong at one point. No way, I had a typo. <laughs> All right, let's go back in. Let's see if we can't close this. All right, let's start it back up just to make sure the club works. It's loading up rare. And it's still saving. If we create a new one, it starts off as common. Make it uncommon. And what do we not have yet? I don't know. Let's make a fan. Make it uncommon. We'll go ahead, we'll save that. And there we go, we got our fan. And it is uncommon. There we go, quick fix to a little bit of a problem. But it wasn't quite that hard to address. You just gotta be sure you don't have fat fingers. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.